All right, I'm back. Um, looks like, um, due to the beauty of being able to pause, um, I called my final, said Cessna 12 Bravo, turning final, touch and go. I was cleared. I'll bring this over here. So I called final, um, said Cessna 12 Bravo on final for touch and go. Cleared for touch and go, and then I read it back. So do this a couple times. Hopefully the stream won't crash again. All right. I love this. Unpause my flight. I may have even turned up my reflections all the way up to maximum. Once I get downwind again, I'll check those settings. Holding this spot nice and steady in the window. Coming over the threshold, take out the power. Looking down the runway. Ooh, grease that one. So I'm going to concentrate and keep my uh, runway heading. Start my turn to crosswind. Whoa. Went a little steep there. pattern, nobody coming in, thousand feet above ground level, reduce power, turn the downwind, I'm going to make my downwind call um, just to keep pilot to ATC, see, so make sure it's active, Cessna 12 Bravo turning downwind, Cessna 12 Bravo call turning final for runway 01, Roll out. Trim. Fuel pump's still on. I'll leave that on. You know, go through your mental pre landing checklist seatbelt switches, lights. Um, you, if you're flying a uh, retractable gear, you're going to want to include the landing gear. This is about halfway up the wing strut. That's a about the right place for the uh, traffic pattern. Beam of the numbers, first notch of flaps. Reduce the power a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call for full stop landing.
and put it up here. Roll out, find my mark. About here. Cessna 1 2 Bravo. On final, full stop landing. Cessna 1 2 Bravo winds are calm, clear to land runway 01. Uh, power 717 on my kilo, just outside Honey for runway 6. Power 717 on my kilo, Bradley Power, wind 050 at 3, runway 6, clear to land. Clear to land 6, my kilo. Need a tiny bit of airspeed here. So now using the Say It feature. We have the background chatter doing pattern work, which is the second or third uh, rating in pilot edge. Unit tower, break your 4711, I'll last six. Break your 4711, Bradley Tower, wind is 050 at three, runway eight six, clear to land. Clear to land, runway six, break your 4711. Gonna definitely need some flaps. Coming in a little, it's a little high and a little hot. Still find lining up the runway center line pretty challenging. And round off, looking way down the runway, flare. Down the runway a little too late. Should have had the nose wheel up. Cessna one two Bravo exit runway when able. So you exit when able. Get past this line. Cessna one two Bravo clear of active. Cessna 12 Bravo, welcome to Bradley International Contact Ground on 121.9 Earth. Have a good stay. So then I go to ground, 1219er. 1219er. Cessna 1-2 Bravo, request taxi to gate. Why, let's see. Ground on 121.9 or Cessna 1-2 Bravo. I screwed that up. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to tower and say it. Ground on 121.9 or Cessna 12 Bravo. I might have screwed myself up and gotten out of the loop. Well, actually, it uh, looks like it did route me to somewhere. Try that again. Cessna 12 Bravo, request taxi to gate. Taxi to refueling. Cessna 12 Bravo request taxi to refueling. Cessna 12 Bravo taxi to refueling station via taxiways Foxtrot. 
taxi to refueling station via taxiways Foxtrot Cessna 12 Bravo. Alright, so when I screwed up what I did, I wanted to go back to uh, the last person that gave me instructions, try to read back to them, and then make my request again what I needed to do to back to taxi. So I forgot to read back uh, the ground frequency. So here I am, I'm at the fuel depot. Park over here. So that's the oh, parking brake fuel pump. Flaps are fine. Landing light, taxi light, strobe light. Just kind of recapping what. Uh, was accomplished today. Um, downloaded chatter files from liveatc.net. Find your airport code, KLAX Los Angeles. If you want the departure, you go to departure archives, pick a date. I want the archive from September 5th. Pick your time. Submit. Download this. Copy and paste it. Uh, your download into a folder, and then you go into the configuration sounds and point it to that folder. There is, um, I don't know if I said it earlier, that there's a recommended folder hierarchy which I should look at um, but in my you know my hurry or haste to get pilot to ATC just to hear the traffic I just kind of made up my own thing and it it works but it probably could work better uh, so fair for you to envy is that like a pretty good guide to getting your sounds, your chatter sounds. Good. Yeah, no, try those. Um, you know, kind of where I got hung up with this today with the where I didn't read back the changeover from ground um, that's kinda where I got stuck into the loop so I went back to my last uh, controller which was tower and tried to reset um, and reset turn change to ground frequency to 121.9 or I missed that and when I missed that that kind of got all screwed up so I tried to back up and then continue on after the read back to ground and that's when I got pilot to ATC back on track um, so yeah you miss one thing and it seems like you have to go back to your last step 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this one. I'm going to reset myself over at like general aviation, probably just or one of the gates, and then make a make a little flight uh, to somewhere. So let's see. I'm going to stop this one, and then get this thing cooking. I'm going to also uh, tune down my graphics a little bit so I get a little bit more smoothness of play. I'll be back in a little bit.